Okay, so here we are in Holy Wells. Holy Wells Park. Park. Yep. Ipswich. And um, I came for a writer's retreat with my mate Caroline. <laughs> And we've had a great time, haven't we? Yeah, I'm exhausted though. We've just talked and talked and talked. We haven't stopped. We haven't stopped. <laughs> and we haven't stopped cackling either. No, I think a case of overstimulation <laughs> might be the right description there. Yeah. Um, but I've been wanting to interview you for ages, really. Yep. And yeah, um, so this is a prime, um, you know, opportunity. Mm -hmm. So, um, <laughs> and it did come up yesterday. We were talking about... Um, you know all the mistakes we've made so far oh, and how that yeah. might help other writers mm -hmm. um on their journey yeah um because you never stop learning no no do you don't every day's a school day it, it really it really is i yeah. mean mistakes i've made were things like you know um not getting the second book out fast enough um thinking that i was going to make it with one book because very very i mean people do but very very few it's like winning the lottery um you know i um I had someone publish my first book for me, so that's sort of like, it was great because I'd, I'd just left BT and I was still quite burnt out, so I needed somebody to help with that. But it also meant that some of the things I would have learned by publishing myself, I didn't learn, and I didn't learn until a lot later. Yeah. Um, so when somebody said there were typos in the book, I didn't know how to sort that out, and it just sort of, you know, made me a bit panicky and overwhelmed. Yeah. Um, and, you know, also what I've done is I've just sort of tried to still put too much on myself I've spread myself a bit too thin yeah um and you know it's it's taken me a couple of years to actually get myself to a stage where uh you know I've got plans um I can I you know I know what it is I want to do next and then what projects I want to do next but actually I've also got other projects that are set on on the, sitting on the back burner and, you know, I'm quite happy that they're on the back burner. That's where they are, and that's where they're going to stay for, for the yeah. time being, until I can get round to them. Yeah. Because, um, you know, we, we were talking yesterday about multitasking, weren't we? <gasps> oh, um, my God, and how we all, we're all conditioned to think that mm -hmm. we um, can and do and can sustain multitasking yeah. at um, a level where, if you're an indie author, it just, it just never stops, yeah. does it? But I was able to answer technical questions and bake bread at the same time yesterday. Oh, you were brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not the most technical of people, <laughs> as Caroline will tell you. And um, there was a lot of um, training going on yesterday. <laughs> and uh, But I'm, you know, indebted to you because... And the thing is, you know, the, the, about writers is that okay we've got some wonderful opportunities mm. um but we're on like you know we're in front of our screens on our own at home mm. most yep. of the time and especially in this period of post lockdown where the restrictions are still fair you know keeping us yep. tied to our homes mm -hmm. um it's it's difficult when you're working to keep that motivation yeah, to keep the incentive is. and also to learn because although we you know i've learned I'm quite proud of myself in some ways that I've managed to teach myself, you know, quite a lot of techie stuff when mm -hmm. I'm very, um, the most yeah. untechiest person there is. But thing, you know, there's nothing, nothing more valuable than actually sitting next to somebody and um, watching them do it all for you. <laughs> what, despite the number of times I said, let me drive. <laughs> what was that again? <laughs> Can you explain that again, yeah. please? Yeah. And all the different analogies that you you use, but um, I think at the end of the day, Caroline, what we were saying is that you know for all writers on this on this indie author journey, it's everybody has got their own journey, mm. and one of the things that we were saying that kind of um, can be you know a bit of a pain is comparing yourself to others. Yes, yeah, definitely, and I I suffer from that quite a lot. I'm I'm always yeah. comparing myself to to other writers. And it's you know it does it doesn't help it doesn't do your your mental health any any good at no. all. Um, so you know I'm I'm just learning and and you know what you've been saying about stepping away from social media, although I'm still you know marketing my books. Where are we going to put this? Yeah, quite a lot. <laughs> We're going to put this on social media, aren't we? Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah. You know you've you've been talking about stepping away from it. What I've been doing is. Um, is in the mornings I'll, I'll go on first thing in the morning and have a look at a few things but then as soon as it's nine o'clock and it's my writing time you know i i switch those off and i don't look at them until it's yeah. one o'clock and it's lunch time yeah. and I've, I've spent my four hours in the morning writing obviously with with breaks in the middles because you've yeah. got to 
put the washing up away and get it's... stuff out of the washing machine and that. Oh, God, don't <laughs> remind me of all that domestic <laughs> stuff. It, it just, you know, it, it reminds you of, of mm. what, you know, uh, it, it's about dis being aware of what distracts you. Yep. Um, and and the, the, you know, the, the thing about working from home um, at the moment is um sorry i I got, I got i got distracted by a blooming dog um the thing about working from home yeah, but at the moment is are lovely. i know but <laughs> we've got to keep we see you're getting distracted yes yeah, she's the next, getting distracted it's she's the next distracted. new shiny thing <sighs> yeah how many times did i say to you yesterday caroline um one thing at a time one thing at a time <laughs> And and I and I don't and it's 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 terrible. You, and you do you try and do so many things, and then you end up at the end of the day thinking, do you know what? I still haven't put a handle on that drawer. <laughs> and and it's something odd that's been on my to do list for ages. But yeah. the reason it's not done is because I can't find the drill bit, and I can't find the drill bit because you blah blah blah. And you you know you just spend your life your life spinning around and, yeah. and achieving very little, and, and yeah. that whole. You know, this hour I'm going to focus on that. Yeah. Um, you know, oh, I'm yeah. going to focus on developing this character. I'm going to find yeah. out what this character wants, what this character needs, yeah. what their whole journey is. And it's it's just doing stuff like like that, just focusing on that. I mean, we were talking this morning about this new cosy mystery series that I'm planning on writing, and I've just been sort of sitting on a Sunday afternoon doodling. Yeah. Um, and and just mm. you know creating the characters. And the great thing about getting together this weekend in our little writer's retreat is that we've managed to in person have a good old laugh you know keep it real you know we're Essex girls so um, yeah. it's not hard <laughs> it's not hard to keep real is it really yeah. come on <laughs> down to earth and um, and also reset our pro reset our minds for um, the next couple of months. Yeah, we've got yeah, both definitely. got a plan mm -hmm. that we are going to try and stick to yep. for the next couple of months. And um, I highly recommend it to anybody out there that's writing yep. that's on their own. Um, if you've got a mate anywhere, <laughs> and you can travel, um, because you know this is the first time that I've actually met up with a fellow writer for months now. Yeah, yeah, and, and I've difficult, really missed it. Isn't it? I've yeah, it's, it so it's, much. it's really difficult, um, and you know, online relationships can only tick so many boxes. Oh I yeah, think. definitely. You know, well, what we were doing yesterday with you know with Scrivener and Vellum and all of the rest of it, there's yeah. no way we could have done that as as even as a, a Zoom meeting because it would have just been too difficult. Oh God, it, I can't it even been, imagine what it would have been like. It would have been completely. No, formatic. I can't even imagine. So yeah, so we heartily recommend these little writers retreats yep. if you can manage them, folks. Yep. And um, at the end of the day, you know, don't worry about your writing because I think it's quite a, a common trait with yep. most writers to yep. be worriers. Yeah. Because we're kind of in our heads all the time, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, def definitely. I mean, we all suffer from imposter syndrome all the time. You know, I, I you know, yeah. the night before I'm releasing a book. I can't sleep. I have panic attacks because I think, oh, oh yeah, I'm, dre I'm dreadful. God, um, and and I'm thinking, oh, it's going to be awful. Nobody's going to love it. And mm. uh, you know, sitting back a few months, six months later, and watching the reviews come in. You know, another lovely comment on um, on Instagram this morning about what a great read recompense was. So yeah. you know, it's it's all it's all that sort of sort of stuff. Yeah. And I'm really looking forward to writing my. Eastwold cosy mystery series. I'm looking I've been forward to reading them. I've been writing some really dark stuff recently, so it'll be good yeah. to step out be a into nice, the light. Be a nice change. Yep, definitely. Be a nice change. Yep. Well, good luck with all of that. Thank you very much indeed. And thank you for having me, for um, putting up with me good, good uh, luck on with your, your sofa bed. <laughs> good luck with your, your current project. Oh, God, yeah. Are, are we talking about that? Um. Well, you know, I've given myself to... Christmas to finish the first draft mm -hmm. of a new novel that I'm writing in a different genre which is quite challenging um, but I'm getting some help I've got a book coach which mm -hmm. is brilliant which has yeah. really been helping yeah, me been because really I don't for you, I it? don't know how I would be coping otherwise because um, mm. you know it's quite daunting yeah being in a different genre um, so so yeah so we've got we've got plenty done and um, recommend it to anybody yep. that's watching but if you can do it but you know stay safe absolutely yeah yep. and happy writing everybody yep. happy writing bye Take care. cheers guys bye